Hey, Cappy. Deuce is trying to take over your reading. Happy birthday. Happy holidays. <laughs> um, this is Brandy from ToriAndI.com. We will start your general reading. Um, but as you can see, I do humane efforts on my own. I have no help, no rescue. Long story. City's against me. Um, so if you'd like to donate, you can always reach out. Somehow, Amazon wish list, whatever. Medusa was tossed on the side of the road. I'm pretty sure I've seen a sibling dead, ran over. But uh, funding is always good. Oh, <laughs> right, I had to toss her over to the bed. Anyways, this is your general, this is Brandy. I'm a shadow worker, even though I'm pulling tarot on here, it still will come out. So this is your general reading. <coughs> Doing this for your birthday and such. <coughs> I didn't have a problem coughing until now. So, let's get a little of a career or ambition going on. Innovation. You will need to come up with new strategies to keep your plans in motion. Old ways are outdated. Invent, create, and test ideas. The heart of the matter. <laughs> Sagittarius just got this. In the heart. Take time to revisit the past and figure out what you want to do. Knowing what you don't like will show you what you truly love. And unfolding. That's a good one. Access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly. You are growing as you learn more and keep expanding, which goes back to the innovation part, okay? That is like, reflect what worked, what did not work, right? So you can really put your nose down to the grindstone. Um, take lead, maybe becoming your own boss, you know what I mean? Uh, putting those things and plans into motion, right? Education. Uh, you may need to take a class or do research to find a better position, or you may find yourself writing a book or teaching others. Okay, if that's someone out there. This is the main theme, however that applies to your life. I am running a five minute channeled special uh, until uh, New Year's, but you have to email me for that. It's not on the site. Okay, uh, two questions. $20 delivered via email, so you will have to email for that. All right. Okay. That's the education and the reflection. Everything coincides. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, Queen, and Venus. Feel what you feel. You have the right to feel what you feel, but remember that you always have a right to be happy. Hmm. Denial, to accept the situation, unhealthy cycles, and addictions. Overcoming an obstacle to get back on your feet, gain strength from a difficult situation. You have special gifts, never surrender to normal. True that, my friend, true that. But that's the underneath, right? And I keep getting read and plan your career. Read and plan your career step by step. So you do have to learn something. There's something that you have to research um, or get another specific like criteria. There's so much that could be done with that. I mean, just like a little um, certificate. Who knows? Oh, there goes the neighbor. All right. Capricorn, King of Pentacles, showing up your own, your own, your own. The Hangman, you know, assessing the risk, but not really putting a plan in motion. You're not around anyone who is helping you, I think, get the answers that you need, which is why there's delays in this, okay? Um, it's like... You're waiting too long to put something into motion. Death. That just flipped out. Um, I think it has everything to do with um, past heartbreak. Right? Yeah, because I have <laughs> six of cups, five of wands, six of swords, nine of wands, nine of cups. So, I hate to say this. You guys do kind of get in your head. You like to drag your feet. Okay? And that's not helping in this situation. Like you haven't 
you haven't dealt with something, I have to say something because it's not a personal reading, okay? You have not dealt with, well, I'd like to say you haven't had, you've not spent your time in good company, okay? It's like you've put yourself around bad company and therefore you can never get ahead. And so it's like you're always waiting for this time to really be pursuant or something. It's crazy. Like you, you haven't been with someone that has like a mutual goal. You've been putting yourself around people who do not have mutual goals, delaying your vision and your money instead of like overcoming that stuff, right? You feel you're around people who are just incompetent, but you don't do anything about that. You don't put yourself around someone who has like a talent, okay? So there's a lack of ambition, um, no cooperation, like zero cooperation, okay? Uh, God, I don't know. There's something like I need to put an application in. I have a natural skill. I need to put an application in, okay? But I think you need criteria for that skill, okay? I think you need a criteria for that skill. Uh, it's like outgrowing uh, the goal or the standard and people don't get it. So the fact that I'm picking this up, someone here is really good with using their hands, but they're also supposed to be in like the natural medicine world. Okay. That's a specific person. And then I have someone who's like fixes machinery. You need a certificate for that. Then I have someone who is supposed to go, um, get a certificate. I want to, I keep looking at like a user manual for, um, engines again, handiwork, right? And delay, delay, delay. It's crazy. <sighs> Let's see what this is. So, I mean, you literally have like six weeks to get that plan going. Uh, so at the end of three months, you have exactly what you needed to get over, like, to get back on your feet. Yeah? Get back on your feet. Whatever this means for you. Woo! Woo! Grounding. Stability and security. Performance, growth, and endurance. Let's just put that there. <laughs> Uh-oh. So many just fell out. They flew out, sorry. Reflection, self-love. Yeah, reflecting all the bad company and the unmotivated people you've put yourself around on purpose, on purpose, Capricorn, to delay your own healing and your own progress. I'm still trying to heal. You know, I've been away from people that allowed me to gain the clarity I needed, to be grounded. I've purposely pushed them away. I love y'all, but <laughs> I have too many in my life and I see this. Holding back. I should have expressed myself better in a relationship dynamic. Heartbroken. Not trying to get over it. So you keep putting yourself around different people. Looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, and making new memories. Well, that would be the Six of Cups down here. Right? I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, that's... So, if you're dealing with someone, this is definitely like a mothering or fatherly figure. Okay? Looking at someone and never speaking up, never gonna get past it. Never, ever, ever gonna get past it. So, you know, for your birthday and for the holidays, I mean, maybe you should come up with like a legitimate idea. <laughs> A reunion, but your ego, you know, pride in the way of the connection. But it's like, hey, I know we'll always come back together. Maybe that's a mindset that you think you'll always come back together. Like, you guys are always led back together. You know what I mean? And, like, you keep holding back and not saying the things you do and delay, delay, delay. Someone's eventually, whether that's you or them, they're going to move on. Love or not, they're, they're going to move on, right? I want to be a part of your future. That's what's being held back, but neglect. 
Not giving someone what they need. Not giving someone what they need, which is causing a, a, so many delays in, in life. Okay? And that's going to go back to um, outgrowing those habits. Where is this? Yeah, it's like no ability to put something into words, but if you just tried, you might be surprised, right? Because it's too overwhelming and it's a fear of that commitment. It's a fear of that commitment of the failure. And it's like you need to remember the words, the words. It's like they will come out as long as you will let them. But there is a fear of commitment. So if someone's in this, like, someone feels like the odds are just stacked against them and not allowing their dream to, like, come out. And I feel like that stagnancy, whether that's a past pain, a person that you've put all of your plans around, you know, something like that, that's an obstacle that's been created by yourself. Yeah. And it's like the worst is behind you. Like, I can see that. You're, you're understanding that, but it's still not acting on that. Which is just crazy to me. Just crazy. Alright, let's get the end of month outcome then. Like, what are you going to do? What's the advice? I mean, I just gave you advice. Eight of swords. Nine of wands. Fear of commitment. Scared to open your mouth. Stalemate. Page of cups. Just olive branch, but there's someone in the way. See, again, again, Someone has kept someone in the way so they did not have to. They kept them as an excuse to keep themselves stuck financially, addictive, don't want to be alone, don't know what to do. God bless. Well, okay, I'm just saying. Lord Justice is coming in, my friend. And it's speak up or be by yourself. Speak up or be by yourself. Oh, Santa. All right, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>